was here that history was made. People from all walks of life came together. On a Saturday afternoon, flags waved overhead as friends and family came together. They came to be entertained and to be amused. Some preferred to relive their days of youth, while others celebrated a life of fitness. It was a place where young men learned teamwork and women were training at the starting line. It was here athletes strived for greatness, hoping their feats might one day be remembered. You could see it in their faces, their many hopes and dreams. It was a time of community of hope and anticipation. It was a time of practice and hard work, of championships yet to be won, of teamwork and fellowship, and of winning that final race. This place, this stadium, this field, it was our community and it was here that history was made. It was once said, the achievements of an organization are the results of the combined effort of each individual. These words were spoken by Vince Lombardi. Achievements are the work of many and trophies are but one measure of success. Mark Guthrie, former track coach at UW Lacrosse, knows this well. The, the trophies are, they're, they're part of the memories. I mean, what that is is a solid representation of all the work a lot of people put into it to, to get to the final reward. Uh, trophies come and go, but it's the memories, it's the friendships and relationships. That, I mean, that, that's really everything. In sports, it's the Super Bowl, it's the NBA Finals, so that trophy represents the ability for a group of young men to perform at the highest level on the most critical day. Sports stadiums evoke lasting memories, but perhaps none more than historic Lambeau Field. People from all over the world visit here. In front of the stadium's entrance stands Curly Lambeau as he dramatically points to coach Vince Lombardi. His towering statue looks down on you as if to say, I'm challenging you to achieve your dreams. A former UWL track athlete and football player on the school's championship team entered the NFL as a Green Bay Packer. For Bill Schrader and others, their dreams became a reality during their early days at UW Lacrosse. Those of you who are part of the lacrosse secret, you, you understand what I'm talking about. It's something that uh, is just its a part of your heart that you never forget. Uh, the experience that you get at UW Cross is, is exceptional, and those things I never forget. Um, all the awards and accolades that you get doesn't describe what uh, UW Lacrosse has given to me. One event that brings people from all over Wisconsin to Lacrosse is the state track meet. It's a stage for young athletes to perform at the highest level. As it was over 100 years ago. This stadium and field brings athletes, families, friends, and communities together to participate and to share the moment. Well, I think the experience of the student athletes here is more than just a track. It, it's the size of the crowd. It's, it's the location of the track below the bluffs. It's what the city of Lacrosse has to offer. So it's just not the track surface itself, but it's the entire atmosphere that is, is put together for a state track meet weekend. 10,000 people at the facility, knowledgeable track fans, that excitement along with the highest level of competition that they're going to see in the course of a, a competitive track season is all right here in lacrosse. So those two days for high school senior is really like a small Olympic Games. When I came from here for the state meeting high school, coming from a small town, I mean our facilities were good, but when you come here, it's like, it's amazing, you know, seeing how they set it up for the state meet, and 
it just looks so awesome and so you know it's so fun to be a part of that coming from a small school and you know I came here I thought this could be my track that I train on every day you know if I come here and the very track Andrew Rock trained on as a student prepared him for his Olympic and international track career. Students at UWL saw a new sports complex as an opportunity to help future students and to create a lasting legacy. I look at it as very progressive to a point of building, showing new growth, being able to take this into our own hands and say, this is ours and this is students and making sure that people are mindful of that, and making sure that the students really were the cornerstone in this. I think they see that as somewhat of a legacy, but somewhat of an opportunity to make the university that we love so much better. Today, community members are working to make the vision of a new sports complex a reality. Their goal, to bring families and athletes together to experience sports and events as a community. But when I was asked to become involved with this project, I felt from the heart that I've spent, as a kid, I spent a lot of time in the stadium watching football games. I went to Central High School. I attended university uh, at the UWL here and uh, watched a lot of football games and track meets. My kids participated with Central here. I spent a lot of times in that stadium that are very near and dear to my heart. And I would love to be able to give that back to the community. At the end of the day, I, I hope that I, I want to see thousands of people uh, going to that stadium, moms and dads with their kids, dads and moms with their grandkids, and finding good, safe, enjoyable entertainment, whatever that may be, sports or otherwise, and just looking back and maybe saying, you know what, I didn't realize that I was a football fan of high school or college, where I didn't realize a track event could be that much fun. But I went and I enjoyed, and, and that's exciting for me. You give people something new, something safe, something enjoyable, something clean, clean environment, and they become a new fan. And so now we have another kid that's gonna be a fan, and uh, or another child that becomes a fan. So at the end of the day, I, I just look for growth in this community, supporting high school and college athletics and other events that will be held there. You know, this project will outlive our lives and that's what's so exciting about it. We are giving to this community an option for healthy entertainment, for people to take their kids, and it's things that will bring memories to these people also in the future. So it's just, it's just a way to give back and uh, it, it feels great. As I walk through the stadium today, I wonder if others that watch events in that stadium have any idea what the bottom part is in particular looks like. There's cracks in places that shouldn't be cracked. There's holes in places that there shouldn't be holes. There's even places where the ceiling has crumbled and has fallen. Um, it's really sad to see that that has happened. You know, we have an opportunity to create a structure that is going to touch the lives of many, many people in, in parts of the state, in parts of the country, way far away from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Things like this only come around once in a lifetime. And um, I guess that's one of the reasons I'm so excited about it, because this is something that's going to outlive all of our lives. And so to be able to create something that is going to touch that many people is, is, is great. I just have so much passion and appreciation for being able to experience what I did here. And maybe I reminisce about the old days more than you know most people do, but it's because my, these, those were the best years of my life. And there is just nothing that will ever match it for me in terms of all the memories that I have. Uh, I look back uh, in time, 100 years back, and think about all of those you know, uh, who had the vision, who had the foresight, you know, um, who you know, sacrificed in many cases 
to um, move forward, take chances and risks, and look what we have today. I want that to carry forward. The rebirth of the stadium will continue to recognize our veterans. George Washington once said, the willingness of our young people to serve is directly proportional to how they perceive the way in which the veterans of earlier wars were treated and appreciated. Local veterans are involved because they believe in the project and the community. I want to do everything I can to make this a success. And I'm a dedicated person, very loyal. If I'm your friend, I'm your friend. And when I dedicated my time, said I'll be here, and I'll be a loyal friend, and I'll do everything I can to make this work, I meant it. Now we work together. When you talk about veterans, you're talking about the community. They all have brothers, sisters, fathers, grandfathers that were in the war. So it, it, whether they like it or not, they're connected. We're all connected. And that's important. That's what the biggest thing for, about this facility is to me. It's more than the game. It's life's lessons that stay with us. Coaches and athletes have inspired us to achieve our dreams and to remember. Special moments still linger in this stadium, on this field. And I think if I can inspire other people, you know, and make them think, you know, if you work hard at something, you can accomplish it, whether it's track, school, whatever. You know, if I can, you know, inspire others to do that and to give 100%, you know, that your dreams can come true. And well, I think that uh, we've always had five minutes before practice to more or less say the things that I think are important for athletes to see and experience while they're, uh, before they go to practice and while they're on the campus. Like we'd always say, hey, have you called your parents this week? Have you told your parents you love them this week? And I think those are the kind of things I would like to relate to athletes. In, in my way, teach them uh, how to respect people, how to respect life, how to respect nature. It was just in our blood, and the track meant everything in the world to us. And just to be there gave you such a sense of, you know, being where you were supposed to be. As a parent sitting in the new facility, I would be so proud to be a part of making this facility happen, to be able to see the beauty of the facility and the setting, uh, the university surrounding it, uh, the cross community. It is an opportunity for the community to come together and feel like a family. It's going to be wonderful, it's going to be beautiful, but it's way beyond that. For me, um, I'm very fortunate. You know, I have a gift and um, I want to share that. And gifts are to be shared. Um, I see it as a way to give something back. And to me, that's re very rewarding. And I'm hoping that many, many others here see that. What this is going to leave behind, what it's going to do for many, many generations to come, that's what's important. And to me, that's what's really fulfilling. This field, this stadium, this community. Now it is your turn to make history and to create a new legacy.